Hey you guys, what's up? My name is Knox HD, and today we are here with podcast. And uh, today I have my good friends with me, a black guy named Reggie. Really? And, uh, <laughs> really? Uh, really? Dalton? And then we have this deadbeat over here <laughs> named Dalton. And today we're here with a podcast. We're gonna talk about destiny. Destiny. Yeah. How much it sucks. How much it sucks. <laughs> Overhyped piece of shit. This is going to be a weekly podcast. There won't be a, another one next week. There's Dude, stuff. prom. Homecoming. Homecoming. It's not fucking prom. <laughs> Who fucking cares? It's the same thing. We're not shit. even seniors yet. Yeah, drop out. Yeah, drop out. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Anyways, um, let's get to talking about Destiny. What do you guys know about Destiny? Uh, well, it's a piece of shit. It's very overhyped piece of shit. Um,. Well, it was basically Borderlands without the humor. Basically. True. Especially with all the parodies they pulled in. Mm. I, that's, I like the parodies in Borderlands. I thought those were good. I mean, it was... Isn't that good a Guinness World Record for, like, parodies? Yes, it did, actually. Nick awesome. Grady talked about it. Yeah. What about you, Jake? Well, I don't like how overhyped it was because they didn't deliver on a lot of stuff they said that they would. Well, they'll probably they'll probably do that with uh, patches and updates like they did with uh, Grand Theft Auto. I don't think they should have given Halo Three away because yeah. I think Halo Three was basically their selling point. Uh, Halo, you mean Bungie? Yeah, you said Halo Three was oh their Halo selling. Three. I think <laughs> just Halo. 3. Halo in general was their selling point. Yeah. And a well, lot of people if you, are, actually, if you think about it, when they did, when they started the Halo series back on the regular Xbox, they had a lot of people playing it, mm-hmm. and they and. They're basic. Everyone's basically saying Destiny's uh, their only Halo, their own Halo ripoff. Yeah. Like I they mean, can't even do anything else. Now that you think about it, the whole jumping thing, like whenever the characters jump in Destiny, it's a lot like the like what they do in Halo. Basically, it's a reskinned Halo Borderlands. It is. Mean, yeah. Because I don't think they uh, wanted to change Halo that much. So I think they just made a different game. Uh, so much car alarms going on. <laughs> I think what Destiny, I think what they did with Destiny, it's basically like Halo Reach, because each there's each class and it's each class had its own rifle, specialization and grenades or whatever it carries. Because yeah. like you could you could have an operator that had a shield of some kind, and you've got some class in Destiny that does the same shit. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. It was basically like they had to stick to the same script. (laughs) Um, Except made it look better. I think uh, 343 Industries is going to fucking punish Halo and uh, just going to drag it down so the story is meaningless. Yeah, they're not going to do it any justice whatsoever. Halo Halo 4, I think whenever they try and flesh out, whenever they tried to flesh out um, Master Chief, that was really like a no no. Was a no no. Yeah, it was really bad. Like, in my opinion, Destiny would have been better if they didn't keep the same Halo features. What? Like, if they didn't keep the same Halo features. If they made a whole new uh, game instead of just ripping off some code from Halo yeah, and basically. plopping it down and saying, eat it. Yeah, basically. Because that's all they really did. They just basically made upgraded Halo with a $60 price tag <laughs> for Xbox One and PS4. And the random loot system was really bad. Yeah, and I heard a lot of the side missions and a lot of the normal missions are very repetitive. repetitive. Yeah. Like you go into a Linear. room and then you have like your robot fix the computer and then you find out the stuff and then you get attacked. Yeah, that that's seems... bullshit. Um, it's like constant with you everything want... else. Yeah. There's a nice little pluck here. If you want any good reviews, go to Angry Joe. He's the best. Angry Joe. Hashtag. Oh, yeah. Follow Angry Joe. Watch him. Angry Army. Angry Army for life. <laughs> okay. Um... Actually, I would act- I would actually like to add to uh, to the whole Halo thing. Because if you think about it, when the first Halo came out and the two followed after that, you couldn't understand the storyline. First, you're fighting against the aliens and the Covenant. And then next thing you know, you're... Part somewhere in the story, you're playing as them to attack the humans. Oh, you mean uh, Halo Ev- Evolution? Evolution? No, it was a, it was one of the older ones. Oh, you mean like I think it was uh, one, one or two? Yeah, 
Because I never understood the whole story until you get to Halo 3, and mm -hmm. then it's like you find out one of them is on your side, and oh, you are going... No, um, I think he uh, newly discovered that he was on your side because uh, he discovered that the pro the prophets were sent him on a suicide mission or something like that. And we're trying to get... He done sco He discovered the prophet's plan, and he was like, oh, well, I should get with humans then. But then he, again, I'm not that good. Basically, Arbiter knew it was the wrong thing for them to do, so yeah. this is what he does. So. Come to think of it, is he still alive in these newer yeah, series? He wasn't, now? he wasn't in Halo 4. He's not he in the newer series. He's not in Halo 4 at all. He probably won't be in Halo 5. So, is he probably guy, died or something. Guys, yeah. Even though this game, Halo, the Halo series, is somewhat old and new. Do you guys think that Arbiter just took off somewhere in Halo 3 at the end? Yeah, probably. He did take off some... He was alive on the end of Halo 3. He wasn't in Halo did 4 he at all. Yeah, if you play... If anyone's played the Halo 3 campaign towards the end... He survived. Yeah. Master Chief, uh... At first, I didn't think he survived, and then I was like, oh, maybe, uh... It's maybe. like a movie I should watch after the credits, and then it's like... Big middle finger in your face. Master Chief is alive. There Fuck are you. there are people talked about this. If you played that can, that mission on um, legendary, legendary or hard, they always have a legendary like. Supposedly, uh, special ending. during the uh, twenty one gun salute they did in the end, if you paid attention, you would see three marks on the tail fin of that plane that he was in. And it showed, and it supposedly represented to other people that he was still there. He would just come back. Um. Well, like if you if you just look after the credits, it says it shows him still alive. Yeah, he's in like the. Yeah, box. he's like, oh, we we didn't make it. <laughs> We're in the middle of fate, space. Cortana, send out a distress beacon. I'm gonna pop. And then he, uh, yeah, he froze himself. He's an <laughs> asshole. He's like, he went into hibernation Halo. mode, and then like seven years or something later, there's Halo Four. Yeah. Oh, so he basically did the same thing in the beginning of Halo 3. Basically. Oh. Well, beginning of Halo 3, he dropped from orbit, so... That's oh, it's kind of like the same thing, because he, he did armor lock on himself to keep him alive, so... Yeah, well... Am I the only person Hibernation thinks... mode and armor lock aren't the same thing, don't... Well, in a way, they could be. <laughs> Am I the only person who thinks Halo is probably going to go down the drain soon? I think, you know... And I think good. with Halo 5, it's like, if it sucks as much as Halo 4 did, in my opinion, the campaign sucked. The mechanics were pretty good, even though they I worked on the mechanics. a little bit. Oh, yeah. I, some of the mechanics I liked. Some of them I didn't really have a thing for. But, yeah. but I think I will go... I will agree with you on that. I think Halo will go down the drain sometime. I it point. depends on Halo 5. It's probably not going to be good. And but, uh, I have to say one thing. The trailer for Halo 5, why was he wearing a fucking Jedi cloak? Even was, though he was yeah, wearing the suit. He has fucking power armor on, he wears a Jedi cloak. <laughs> that was the I thought it was a fucking uh, Star Wars commercial, and I was like, what the fuck is this? I mean, for all we know, he could be hiding his his identity or something. That's kind of gay. He's Master Chief, he doesn't need to hide. He, gets yeah, all the he, pussy. he hides his identity, but he still wears the same fucking power armor. He gets all the <laughs> pussy ever. He's Master Probably Chief. fused to his fucking skin. You know, this, since we're talking about him, do you guys think that if they, along the Halo series, do you think we'll ever see his face? Fuck no. No, they said in Halo Five we might, but I'm not. I don't. They kind of showed it in Halo Four. If you play, I think Legendary or whatever. Yeah, he like takes off the mask and it just shows his face, like his eyes. Doesn't oh no, show. I saw his eyes before, but yeah. I didn't see his face. Hmm. But I think that's I saw all that. I think they will show, and well, they have. And and, they unless, if, unless if they, if we, if there's a bunch of people who are big fans of Halo. Demanding 343 to show his face. And the 343 Bungie was like, fuck no. But 343 was like, well, maybe. If you maybe ask. if you give us some more money. If you ask, no, sir. And <laughs> give Basically, us all I think money. 343 uh, wants Halo to be a cash cow until they get enough money for something else. Right. And, and then they're, they're going to make their own game. Like and they'll Halo. throw it away it's like a, uh, a freaking Sunday night hooker. <laughs> Toss to the side, like no one gives a. That's vote. like one of the. Yeah, that's like one of the games taking what seven or eight years just to fucking do. I like if this was Destiny and we're just talking about Halo. <laughs> much is gonna like probably suck. <laughs> Let's go back to Destiny. Yeah, do you guys we need think... to get on that topic. This is what the podcast is about. What do you guys think about the whole it coming out and overhyped? But whenever it comes out, some people are saying it's good, but the reviews are terrible for it. I think some people just like. Because it has good multiplayer, like, 
And that's basically what most people, five-year-olds want, is good multiplayer so they can say, Oh, I just teabagged you. <laughs> I got you. I got you, faggot. <laughs> I'm well, fuck you in the ass. In my opinion, I think... Uh, I'm not really too sure... I had, I had a thought, it, but I just It has good it. multiplayer. The campaign is shitty, though. Yeah, I heard the ones guys really good. Oh, um, what is it called? Uh, the Midget in Lord of the... <laughs> and, uh, the Midget in Lord of the Rings. No, not Lord of the Rings. Uh, Game of Thrones. He he plays as a robot. He voice acts as a robot. Oh, that's good. Oh, really? What is it called? His name's Peter Downey Jr.? Is that his name? Peter Downey Jr.? Is that his name? I don't know. I'm I thought sure you, that, that's what you said. I, I think that's his name, yeah. Is he related to Robert Downey Jr.? <laughs> Iron Man? You know. No, I, no, that's... <laughs> I, I, think I, I think I fucked up. I think I fucked up. <laughs> well, gee, now you realize it. Mm. Touch yourself, at I least. think... I don't know if you guys have noticed it, but I'm watching um, Squirrel, Matimio, and Level Cap do the playthrough. They mm, haven't so. done anything for a while. Well, huh? I've noticed Animal sex. while <laughs> I've noticed while there's three people playing in a multiplayer session, there's three other people along with them in like other groups. Have you guys noticed? Uh, I've I've, I've noticed I do not it. know what you're talking about. <laughs> well, you guys watch Squirrel then while, when you get the chance. He's I squirrel. Won't. The squirrel. <laughs> the squirrel nuts. Oh, he's funny. I like him. He's neat. I like him. I'm watching him do. I'm actually watching him do a. Uh, I like his Euro Truck videos. He's he's doing the second uh three part series. Nice. He's doing it with uh, Corrales again. Destiny. Where? What? What's the destiny? Anyways, <laughs> uh, um, <laughs> fucking destiny is shit. It looks good, but it's shit. Any last thoughts before we exit off? Because it's yeah. basically it. well, good multiplayer. Not good good multiplayer, I, but no story. No story. Basically, to sum it up, there's no story. Good multiplayer, and I think it's just a huge ass rip off from from Bungie's sixty dollar sixty dollar uh, toilet paper. <laughs> Sixty dollars for it. Is that all? Yep. All we gotta say. All right. To wrap up, Destiny's shit, mul uh, good multiplayer shit story. Sixty dollars toilet paper. Sixty dollars toilet paper. <laughs> it's like Call of Duty. <laughs> it's like Call of Duty. It's basically I'm something sure else to throw down the fucking toilet. Statement. Borderlands without any jokes. Yep. Basically. The end. All right. My name is XHD. This is the Echo Podcast, and uh, we will see you for part two in a little bit. Bye bye.